channel. If you're new, welcome to the channel. My name is Uber Beefs. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Uta underscore Beefs. Sorry I've been away again. I'm just busy, 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 sir. Sorry about that, but I'm back. I never left anyway. But first, boom. Big thank you to Daniel at Crawley Surplus Store. I'm not gonna say why. You have to wait for the next video, but let's get into it, man. Rifle time. Today, we're gonna be reviewing a FX air gun. But I wanted to start with the box car. The box is different car. If you know, I've got the Wildcat Mark II, but it's the older box. It was, it was way different. Basically, you had to push in the middle and then hook it over the little latch thing. You get me? It was long. Whereas these ones, you just flick and it drops. So you won't be messing up your fingertips. You get me? Let's get into it. So boom. Obviously it comes in a hard case. Nice hard case. Because you can fit your rifle and a scope in there. Basically, you get me, sir? Let me show you how it comes inside. I don't know if you can see that, but basically, this is how the rifle comes. Get me, but let me show you. So boom, first thing you get is a quick connect adapter. Basically, car the rifle's got a foster fitting, so this you can screw straight onto the holes and quick connect it to the rifle, you get me? Also in the case comes a 38 shot magazine. It's 38 shots because this is a 177. In 2.2 two, you probably got less shots, but 38 shots from the Rotary magazine. All right, then let me put these away now. Let's get into the rifle. So boom gang, this is the FX Impact Mark II with a 500 millimeter smooth twist X barrel. My dream gun, if you know, but yeah, let's get into it. I don't wanna have no wet dreams tonight, sir. Let's start from the back as always. Uh, I'm not gonna compare it to the Mark I or the M3. I might say little things that I don't like about the rifle, but let's just get into it. So boom, starting from the back, You've got an adjustable butt pad. Decent, but I don't like it because when you screw this out and you move the, and you try and adjust the butt pad, it either screws the screw in and makes it tight where it comes out the other side of where it, yeah, I just don't like it, but you got the rubber butt pad, nice. Above that now, you got the cheap piece, Nice and long, so if you got a fat face, yeah, you're good. Just below that now, you got the breech. This is where you fit the 38 magazine. Real easy to load. I'm gonna show you when we get to the shooting part. Also in front of that, you got a little catch. that right? You just flip this and that's how you release the magazine from the spot, basically. All right, and below that now, you got your regulator gauge. Right now, this gauge is currently sitting on, I say about 45 bar. Let's move forward now, let's go to the grip. <clears throat> the grip, it's an AR style 15 grip, which is changeable. I would change it if I get one card. This grip's kind of thin. I want something a bit chunkier, tell the truth. Alright, uh, and that's the grip. Let's move in front of the grip now. You've got your two-stage adjustable match trigger. The trigger's sweet. I ain't never shot this, but I know how FX triggers are. The trigger is sweet. Cocking lever. Got the cocking lever there. It's smooth. Super smooth. I can't lie. Super smooth. And obviously can decock it by holding it back, pressing the trigger, and just riding that forward. Put it back on safety, let's get to safety now. Safety's a 
AR-15 style safety. Just flick it up and down. Down for fire, up for safe. All right then, in front of the cocking handle now, you got another gauge. This is your pressure gauge. Right now it's sitting on that 180. But yeah, this is the pressure gauge to show how much it is in the bottle. The bottle's a carbon fiber. Carbon fiber, I'm not sure what size, but I'll put it on the screen. Um, let's go around to this side. On this side now, you got your little power adjuster. If you want to put, it's on max now, so it's shooting probably over 11 pounds. But if you put it down to min, God knows, it's going to shoot lighter though, probably around the six, seven foot pounds. You get me? Below, obviously, of course, you got the, you got a Picatinny rail for your bipod. You've also got one on each side of the rifle for accessories in case you want to put a torch or a laser or whatnot on there. You've also got a Picatinny for a scope rail. Decent. They used to do dovetails like my Wildcats are dovetail, but everyone's doing Picatinny now, so yeah, I'm not sure if it's 20 MOA. I'll let you know on the screen. Also, underneath now, like I said with the adapter, you got your fill there. Nice. Alright, let's move to the top now. Let's move back up. We got the shroud that covers the 500 millimeter barrel the shroud has a is the shroud on the end has a half inch unf thread so you can fit on any silencer with a half inch unf thread basically it comes with a silencer as well but this silencer is just empty it does work doesn't make a sound but if you put like a hug it or a Tanto on there, obviously. You ain't hearing a thing, you get me? Um, what else am I missing out on now? Let's go to behind the trigger. I'll give you a close up, but behind the trigger, you got a little. Reg adjuster, but. It's blocked. I think sub 12 air gonna call it a puck, but it's got a little puck in there so you can't use your Allen key. Obviously, it being a sub 12 air gun, yeah, they blocked off everything so you can't put the power up. Also, with this little thing here in the middle, in between the bottle and the shroud or the barrel, this is another adjuster for the but. They blocked this one off as well. So boom, gang. Let me show you this side properly. Obviously it's an FX Impact Mark II, but it's an FX Impact X. It's like the newer ones of the Mark IIs, you get me? They made a little bit fine more adjustments basically, but yeah. That's All right, so gang, let me show you how to load up this magazine. Firstly, you spin this around and then it's, it releases this plastic cover then you rotate this all the way around hold it there so you can see the exit basically cover that with your finger put the first one in and it's locked in but keep your finger there though just in case it falls out and then after that you can just drop them in. When you finish loading up your 38 shots, put the cover back on. And that's done. Loading it into the rifle. That's a whole nother video. That's the FX Impact Mark II with the 500 millimeter STX barrel. Decent, I like it. One thing I'm gonna say again, shouldering it, it just feels good. It it fits me perfect, I should say. It's just about I like it. We just gotta see how it groups now. So boom, gang. 
I'm done. Let's go to the range and see how it shoots. You get me? So go and get. I see at the range. All right, so boom, gang, we're at the range. It's like a week later, but don't tell no one. So boom, gang, let me do the rundown on the impact quickly. I've got the six to 24 by 50 port fast mount scope on it. I've got the bipod, give it some stability. And we're gonna be shooting the 10 point three four grain JSBs with the 4.52 head size. I let my daughter do two groups with the 8.44 grains and the 10.34 grains, but 10.34 grains are my favorite, so I'm going with that. I'm gonna stick with that. Alright, so boom. One thing I didn't tell you lot in the video. Oh man. Right, so one thing I'm gonna let you lot know, I have not cleaned the barrel. One, I'll let you know in the next video. Two, because I ran out of the, the pull through kit, the little patches, you get me? So the barrel ain't clean. But yeah, 30 yards, let's get into it, man. All right, so boom, gang. Camera set up down there at the 30. Magazine's in. Let's get busy. Where is this now? At first shot. I did zero at the first year as well. One little flyer. It's nothing. Forty yard time now. Alright, so boom, gang. Forty yard time. It's still on the thirty yard zero. Yeah, still on the thirty yard zero. So it might drop a little, but forty yards now. Five shots at the dot. Set ain't got the single shot loader, but wait for the next video. So, boom, gang, let's move to the 50 yard now. 50 yard time now. I just zeroed it to 50, so we should get quite close to the dot, but we'll see. But it's not about getting tight, clap. But it's not about getting close to the dot, it's about the group sizes. You get me? So, boom, gang, 50 yards now. Steelers. Abuse 
Jack, then pass it to Kozo. We just circled your block. That's four cars deep in the CT4. And I've lost the plot. Numerous times my <laughs> And if I catch you up, I'll juice that you in the leaf that's puzzle. Obo, obo. Abuse that ish, then pass it to Kozo. We just circled your block. That's four cars deep in the CT4. And I've lost the plot. Numerous times my blade got cuddled. <laughs> To splash this bitch, no homo. Still up my funds, no cordial delivery, butching this to the homo. I'm feeling like M with a twist on a low low, still shot through my brodos. It's that four, I did try to keep that tight, you know, that one. But yeah, last one again, last one. Four more points for the heat that flies out of muzzle. And PC port trying to get man zag, they're trying to put stops on a hustle. Obo, obo, abuse that, sh then pass it to Kozo. <laughs> I don't know where that went, but gang, that's five. I do like this impact, you know. I need to get one. <laughs> but gang, yeah, let's go check and look at the groups quickly. Do some measuring. Alright, so boom, gang, let me give you these groups real quick. I got my trusty 5P as always, a 5P is 18 millimeters in diameter, so boom. Let's start off with the 30 yards. All right then, we got four through that one hole there. We got one little flyer there. Yeah, we can cover that at 30 yards. Decent, let's move on to the fort yard now. Alright, so the fort yard, one, two, three, four, five. Alright, and we got four under the five P at fort yards. Just shy of the five, but Four is decent for an unclean barrel. Remember that. All right, then that's four yards. Let's move to the 50 yards now. See what we're working with here. All right, so boom, in the video, I couldn't even see this, you know, but one went in the black dot. I got three through this hole. One. All right, let's see. So we can cover the three. But we can't get the four, we can get, we can't get the five, sorry. We can get four there, we can get four there, but we can't get the five. But if it goes, if it can group like that, three pellet on pellet, then you know it's got potential, you get me? Just got to find the right pellet. So yeah, gang, I'm quite happy with this result, to tell the truth. So boom, gang. I'm done. Let me close this video out quickly. So boom, gang. That's it from the FX Impact Mark II in 177 with a 500 millimeter smooth twist X barrel. Decent. You got so with the groups. I could have got it tighter, but I didn't do a whole pellet test, so. That's up to the next owner to work that out. You get me? Big thank you to Dan. Big thank you to Jim as well. Can't forget them man there. Is there anything else I need to say? I'll see you on the next video. Remember, next video. Gang, in every gang, there is a man that'll bring that violence. You don't post, you don't snap, he just moves real quiet. In every gang, there is a man that'll bring that violence. You know it's bad, cause when he gets mad, the wrong goes silent.